you with it cause I'm in it baby I haven't heard from you and I'm in it baby Just tell me I'm back with another video so make sure you guys like comment subscribe follow my instagram <laughs> stars lashing beauty with the s on and the stars so today's video you guys i know you guys remember the first video i ever posted i had a special guest my mom we was um talking about relationships and you know all of those topics you know that we like to discuss and talk about and keep it real about. So today, um, we're doing part two of that. And I brought my mom back with me to, you know, get back more into that. Because I seen that, you know, that was a popular video that I did. So we're going to get back into that today. And yeah, talk about some more stuff that we didn't touch on in the first video that I posted. So, hello, mother. Hello. Good morning. I'll say good morning because we are, what is it, post. This is post, post after Christmas. Couple oh, of yeah. Days. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> but, yeah, by the way, you guys, Merry Christmas. I know the New Year's. New Year's Eve is tomorrow, so Happy New Year's to everybody. I know I haven't, I didn't post a Christmas vlog like I wanted to. I was very sad about that, but, you know, I came down with a little cold before Christmas, so I was actually home for Christmas in my bed trying to get better. And no, don't have COVID or none of that. It was just a little cold going on. You know, it's cold outside now. So, yeah, I'm much better now, and I'm back. So, go ahead, Mom. Okay. So, no, I was just saying good morning, good morning. Yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better. But now that she's feeling better, I'm the one that's not. You know how it is in household. You share a household with somebody, and they get sick, and then you get sick. So, mm. I, no COVID, okay? No, Went and ran and got tested and negative. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. You know, so now it's just like trying to just deal with the basic cold, um, mm. like flu symptoms or whatever. So, that's why I'm wearing this mask in the house. Got my blanket. And today, I'm just chilling. But I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Getting ready for the new year. Mm. And... Star and I was just talking, and I even had took I took some notes because some of our conversations get so deep, you know, they get so real. The conversations that I have with you know family, with my children and my extended children, which I have many children, but my children that I birth, my three, we sometimes have real deep conversations, and I'm just like, y'all, we need to be recording this stuff. Why we don't share? Cause, because the world needs to be able to hear the transparency of our conversations because everybody deals with stuff, you know? Everybody have situations and circumstances and problems that they face that they deal with. Um, well, let me pause, y'all. Y'all see we got our bonnets on, Stars Lashing Beauty. Get your bonnet. Yes. If you've been watching and following and ain't got a bonnet. What are you doing then? <laughs> you don't like to go to sleep in style, wake up in style. It's set in, you guys. It's one size. So just okay. Stop. It's really comfortable. It protects your hair and all of that. Yes, I, I love it. Can't go wrong. Big it. on it. I like the different the different um colors. I have mm -hmm. many different colors. Um different and I support designers. and I pay for my stuff as well, okay? So I'm a customer. But it's just it's just nice to be able to, you know, like today, I'm relaxing at home. I don't feel like getting dry. So, you know, mm. I decide what color bonnet I want to put on. You know, one of my favorites is Chanel. So, <laughs> yes. And yes, the hair may be done. Yes, it is. But or it may not be I done still, right now. There you go. <laughs> See, either or. But you still want to just have something on, you know, to represent. And if you, okay, so for my ladies who are natural, because I am natural, if you decide you want to grease your scalp and you want to just chill or lay down, you know, mm -hmm. not saying you're going to be grease monkey and you're going to grease up everything you lay on 
sometimes that's true to you, but you know, can't have dry scalp. But you may want to lay back and chill, but don't want to, you know, mess up the leather or the cloth or whatever it is you have. You might just want to put on a nice bonnet, you know, so you can just relax and chill. Or you just Run got that lace front laid, suede, all of that. You don't want to mess it up. You want to protect your hair and all of that. Or, if you know, natural, like my mom was saying, or you wrapping your hair up at night. You just want to protect your hair. You getting in the shower, all of that. Get you a bonnet. Stars yes. Nation Beauty. Love. On Instagram, you can leave a comment below under this post or etsy.com. Type in Stars Nation Beauty. No spaces. Yes, I love it. So, as we were saying, you know, thank you for having me back on. You know, as a mom, I support. That's my job, and that's what I like to do from the heart. But sometimes, you know, as mothers... We just sit back and chill and watch our grown children, you know, do their thing and, you know, just make sure we support and have their back. So, you know, once again, I'm under the weather, but I'm doing this because I think it's necessary. It's helpful. Um, if it only reached one person and bless them, then like I said, you've done more than enough for real, for real. Mm -hmm. So I'm willing with the mask and all, even in my home, willing to walk in wisdom to follow instructions to keep everybody else healthy and safe. But, excuse me, I just wanted to um, piggyback what you were saying as far as our last conversation, we talked about relationships. And I think it's so good because we talked about there's many different kind of relationships. Um, and I think we touched on loyalty, truth, and love. And mm -hmm. I think it's so key because it can fall in so many different categories as far as love. I'm having a hot flash. Oh, my goodness. I need a fan. Mm -hmm. Woo. Sometimes things get real, but I need a fan for real. But anyway, my kids always say my family and extended children, you know, I love to preach. I ain't even going to lie. I love to preach. I love to talk about Jesus. That don't ever change, ever change. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Like I said in my book, it's me. It's who I am. Has it always been me? Absolutely not. I can keep it real. <laughs> like it will blow your mind real. Okay? But sometimes, like I'm learning, I have to scale back from so much truth. Because truth is not always necessary to share unless a person asks you and they're willing to receive your truth as something different and another means of a way that they can maybe change, be free, get some help, do something different. You know, that's when you step in and your truth of what you have to share, you know, is normally received. But, you know, I'm learning. So I've done the preaching and the talking and the scripture and now I'm just going to take it to another level of keeping it real with some earthly situations and things that I feel in 2021, we as a people need to change. We need to stop doing. We need to be real. And we need to just move away from. We need to fix. You know, it's so much sad stuff. The things we've had to face with the, the races, you know. Um, mm -hmm. situations and the ones that lost their lives, you know, praying for their loved ones. It's heartbreaking, you know, our, our, our babies that's being, that's being killed. You know, it's sad. Mm -hmm. we, we pray for them. We pray for change. You know, we know that God says, and my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways, then he will heal their la our land. We get that. We know that. Those who stand on biblical principles, okay, but I want to speak to us as a, a gen, the generation that are living, that are here today. The ones that need to just be real, you know, just stop, stop fronting so much. Stop sweeping stuff under the rug. Stop lying, lying to yourself. Be stop. Truthful. Yes, be true. Stop lying. Stop lying because what you're doing is your damaging the next generation not only are you killing yourself but you're killing the next generation i don't mean literally killing off off of the face of the planet but you're killing you're killing the love you're killing the relationships you're killing curses. generational curses 
You're bringing on familiar spirits. And if you don't know what familiar spirits is, go research that, okay? And then come back and we, when you're ready for some real truth, we could talk about it. So that's what we want to kind of dive in today. Just talking about the relationships on a whole nother level and all the different kinds of relationships. You hear what I'm saying? I'm talking to you too, okay? Mm -hmm. Everybody. And it's not trying to, to pull anybody out, not trying to badger anyone, not trying to talk about anyone specifically. So I feel like if this is touching home or this is speaking to you and you're uncomfortable with anything, you getting cramped, remove yourself. Just go on and go get help. Just get help. Because some of this stuff needs to stop. And the only way things can change and stop is if it's, first of all, addressed. If it's talked about, okay, and received. Because in order for you to change something, you have to be willing to hear it, receive it, accept it, let it hit your heart, and then be willing to do something about it to change. And if you think about the next generation or those that are going to come after you, then you'll think about the change. Then you'll think about what you need to do because a lot of times it starts with you. You. So like my grandson said, stop. Just stop. It needs to stop. All of the lies, all of you mistreating yourself, all the stuff, it needs to stop. Pay attention. Pay attention. Stop acting like the things that you're doing and allowing to be done to you it's okay when it's not okay. So those are kind of, those are the relationship things that I think we need to address and why. Like you may be thinking, who is she? Who she thinks she is? Well, let me tell you who I am, okay? I'm over 50. I'm a woman, a black woman at that, huh? <laughs> I'm not ashamed of my age, okay? Matter of fact, I'm about to turn 52. I'm proud of it. Because it's by the grace of God that I'm actually hey, alive today. Good. Thanks, boo-boo. It runs in its family. It's funny. It's called taking care of yourself, okay? And that's a whole other topic for another day. Taking care of yourself, meaning what you allow in your body, what you allow in your mind, what you allow to be done to your body, what you put in your body. Yes, I'm speaking it. I'm telling it. I'm talking about it. And if you feeling kind of funny, itchy, uncomfortable, leave the video and go get help because nine times out of 10 is you with the issue. Okay. And it's all love. There's no, no badgering. No, none of that. It's love. But once again, I can talk about it because I'm at the age where I've gone through so many things. And like my mother, rest her soul, always said, if you, if you live long enough, you're going to go through some stuff. Keep on living because you're going to keep on going through. But I can add to that today because I have gone through so much stuff. And she's right. And by the grace of God, I'm able to sit here with my youngest and talk about it and encourage somebody. The same stuff that I've gone through and what you going through. You may have gone through similar situations. You may have... You be going through it now. You may go through worse. Whatever your story is, it's not the end of your life. It's just a chapter in a season because we're going to go through seasons. Turn the page and keep on moving. And you write the next chapter. You, wherever this camera thing is, you <laughs> write the next chapter of your life and how you want it to be. Stop making excuses. Stop being mad at everybody else. Stop blaming people. I got a past my childhood wasn't great. I said it. I wrote it in my book. And it wasn't to bash anybody. But I'm tired of the chicken monkeys out there who don't. And I don't even mean to say chicken monkeys. I mean to say chicken littles. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the scaredy cats who are scared of truth. I love everybody. For real. But you have got to realize that everybody have a story. Stop hating on people because they want to talk and tell their story and share mm -hmm. so they can be free and so somebody can be blessed. Remember, karma, karma does not have an expiration date. It does not. You reap what you sow. And how you treat people is going to come back on you one day. And you better be careful because you have kids. Stop. 
Stop. What did Mari say? Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Stop. Because them generational curses, they gonna come back full circle on your own. Stop hating on people. Stop. Don't be a chicken. Don't. Be free. And love yourself okay. and the ones that come behind you so much that you want to help them be free too. So I pause to say that um, what makes me qualified to just talk is for one, it's a free country. Thank God for that. Many people share on these platforms. Why we don't like to support ourselves, I don't understand. Women, we as a people, um, minority, like we have to do better with supporting each other. Mm. You know, we have to. We support. Why not support? Why not? What's your reason? It's sad. Yeah. Do you get that? Yeah. Because I, I, I hate when women hate on other women. Especially like when it comes to like whatever you're in, the music industry, anything like that. Just because y'all doing the same thing, it's enough money out here for everybody. It's exactly. enough success out here for everybody. Everybody can win. So the fact mm -hmm. that you hating on the next man or the next woman, for what? You only mm -hmm. blocking your blessings. Yes. Because hating on somebody, especially if you don't even know them or have no reason to hate them, you're blocking your own blessings. Yes, that's true. At the end of the day. So right. you're hating for what? Iron shop is iron. It's money out here for everybody. For everyone. It's everyone. success everyone. out here for everybody. Yes. So for what? Support. Get Support. that hate up out your heart. Yes. Because it's, it's toxic. not even necessary. Nope. It's toxic. It's toxic. It's gangrene. And at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's only going to be toxic to your life. Not the person who you feel like you don't want to pay attention or even support or even thumbs up or even give a comment like, great. Mm -hmm. it, the, the hate is toxic on your own life. And it's ugly. It's okay to say <laughs> another female is beautiful. She's pretty. Absolutely. Especially With, our right. black women. We should yeah. not be hating on each other. It's okay to acknowledge another woman and say, oh, she's pretty. Or she's talented. Or she could sing. Or she could dress. Whatever it is, it's okay to compliment each other and yes. build each other up and lift each other up, not tear mm -hmm. each other down and hate on each other. Right. For what? Right. Right. We can't be stabbing each other in the back. And then as soon as we see someone, you know, we be like Judas, like like Judas in the Bible with Jesus. And you, you hugging him, uh, betraying him with a kiss, or you hug him, what's up, girl? Hey! And you stabbing him in the back with your thoughts and that goes and your for heart. men, too. Men, too. Like, men yes. hate on men, too. Beef with men, too, mm -hmm. for no reason over a girl. Over whatever mm -hmm. it is. Like, it needs to stop. Yeah, it And this does. is one of the it's things I'm talking about. Back. Right. And it's in a relationship with a friendship, you know, um, family member, whatever it is, you know, it doesn't take much. If you are on social media, you supporting somebody because you giving attention to their mm. page. You're watching their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> how, how you not like somebody, but you can't constantly watching them. Clearly you a fan. Clearly you like something about mm. them. The fact that you can't unfollow them do something but you gotta tune in like comment on everything they do whether it's mm -hmm. negative or not but you don't like them or really care for them but you watching them everything they do yeah mm -hmm. you're a fan yeah. that's that's basically what it is but you have to be you careful you ain't gonna too. admit it or not but right. yeah that's the fan yeah pretty much you hey they got some kind of power they drawing you in mm -hmm. to their page you know so you obviously like what you see you like something you know, but, and, and if that's your story, you know, once again, not badging or talking about anything, we're just trying to heal a generation, you know, being real in 2020, going into 2021, it's time to heal and it's time to stop. And because, you know, you may not comment, you may know somebody specifically, you don't have to go out there and, and say that person's name, you know, and people think they ain't saying nothing. They don't notice, but pe we, people ain't dumb. They notice what you're doing. They notice. People notice your stuff and what you doing, what you watching, and people people see. Just because people don't say stuff, they 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 have to what you doing, mm -hmm. and it's you know. But that's your story. You stick to it. But we're telling you, it's time for a change. 
And I'm saying that, once again, not because of my age, not because I'm a mother, a grandmother, a business owner, businesswoman, career woman, an author. You know, I'm saying it because of life experiences, life situations, you know, and the fact that I'm still standing to tell the story makes me qualified, okay, that I can sit here and talk on stuff and call stuff out because I've been through it all. And that's what I think is wrong. People miss that. They miss, oh, well, um, if, what, what makes them right? Why do why they get to talk about who they think they are? Why should we listen to them? I pray that you listen to the grandmother or the great-grandmother or the older neighbor or the elderly person, the man or the woman who spoke some truth into your life, who gave you some wisdom that you didn't want to hear because the word does not return void. Okay, it, it, it accomplishes what is sent to you, to your ear to do. And at the right time, sweetheart, it's going to come back full circle and it's going to hit you at the right time when you need it most. And I pray it doesn't have you that situation backed up in the corner where you're hearing that word. Why not take the opportunity in your life right now, today, while you have the chance to change things? Take today. Don't wait until you're backed up in such a corner where you are stuck in a rock and a hard place. But anyway, it can get deep. But mm -hmm. let's go so, on about yeah, the first question. Yeah, I was going to say, we're, so we're going to <laughs> get into some questions. Okay, so uh, where did it go? <sighs> we have a lot. We were talking about loyalty. Love and relationships. Um, I feel news. like we already touched on yeah, that. Yeah, you were going to. Um, <laughs> but no, it's, a, it's a loyalty. That's yeah. We're talking about loyalty, truth, and love. And I think mm -hmm. the first one, like we were talking earlier, you were asking about the different those different relationships, right? That's what you wanted to ask about, the loyalty part in the relationship. We were talking about loyalty, Star. And a friendship or like... You dating somebody. Yeah, and that's probably, we were talking about um, loyalty. See, mm -hmm. and I was just thinking um, how we were just sharing about the different categories of loyalty. And I like if you're in a personal relationship dating someone, you were just saying, mm -hmm. I feel like um, with being in a relationship with someone, loyalty is big. Mm -hmm. Loyalty is key. But I have a question for you, for anyone. Oh, God. Not, no, 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 not saying for you to, to uh, answer it, but just for anyone out there listening. I was about to say, I can answer it, though. <laughs> well, you can answer it for yourself, sure. What makes you loyal? Does just being with somebody make you loyal? Just saying you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, fiance, I mean, does that just make you loyal no. Because someone is in your life. What makes you Just loyal? Just because you say, oh, you in a relationship or you with somebody, that don't make you loyal. It's the actions that you put behind it. Because there's a lot of people out here that can say they're in a relationship, but, you know, they got a, they got a side. They out here cheating on who they're in a relationship with. They just basically doing them. Stuff mm -hmm. that you're supposed to do if you're single. You right. might as well be single. Right. So, I feel like with me, I feel like what makes me loyal in a relationship is I can I can say I'm in a relationship, but I can actually put actions behind it when right. I'm in that relationship. Like I also I have respect for myself, but I have right. respect for the person that I'm actually in a relationship with. Treat right. that person the same way that I would think that that person is treating me whether they're around me or when they're not around me. I want the same respect that, you know, I would give them in return. Absolutely. So I just feel like that makes you loyal. Mm -hmm. Just because you say it don't mean you're loyal, but putting the actions behind it Amen. to be a loyal person as well, that's what makes you loyal. Right. And this At is the what, same time. That's good. That's correct. I agree. Mm -hmm. 120%. And this is what I meant when I was saying we're killing ourselves. Like, stop killing yourself. And not, I said, not literally killing, but you're killing your self esteem. You know, you're killing yourself. You're killing, you know, every part of your being, your, your worth. 
You know, where what happened to morals and values? You know, what the, the self-esteem of your the love for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what you're killing. You're killing that. And for the, the next generation of your your child, your son, your daughter, you know, when you are so loyal to someone who does not deserve you to be that or up there, to be that loyal to, what are you doing? If I'm talking to you and you're feeling uncomfortable, mm -hmm. you're the one. This you. And it says, get help fast. Run. Get help. Because you need to stop. Like, stop. Just stop. It's ridiculous. Stop. And I'm speaking about many people that have shared so many but things with me. Many, not just may one not or two. Know. Like, some people probably didn't come from that type of background or wasn't raised that way or didn't have a mother or father. And they like to know how to treat a man or know how to treat a woman. Like, some people just may not know. So, they have to learn themselves. Okay. That's at the same true. time. That's true. Well, let me speak to you if you don't know. Okay? Let me share a word with you. Okay? You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are smart. You are intelligent. You are more than enough. God has not forgotten about you. Don't shortchange yourself. Don't second guess yourself. And don't allow anyone else to come into your life and do it to you. Do not. Do not accept the lies and the whispers of the devil because he comes in many forms. And if somebody is in your life okay, and you're unsure of, they make you uncomfortable, you don't feel like you are loved, it's probably because you're not. You feel like you deserve to be treated better, it's probably because you do. So run away, no matter how hard, make a stand for yourself. Love you, love you enough. You don't have to be loyal to anyone but yourself. God first, then family, and we're going to touch on family in a minute, but we're speaking about personal relationships. When you're in a relationship with a man or a woman, if they devalue you, if they degrade you, if they make you feel in such a way where they make you cry, come on. Your first instinct is what your spirit and your heart is telling you. Pay attention. Life is short. You do not deserve that. You don't deserve to be treated any kind of way. You don't deserve to be talked to any kind of way. But you have to love yourself enough. And then you teach your son and your daughters the same. Because that same energy that you were doing to yourself, all you're doing is making room for them to receive. Because you spoke generational curses are real. Familiar spirits, the familiar spirit of the abuse and the toxic behavior, they come back around into the next generation. So I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, you need to understand what you're doing to yourself and the spirit that you are allowing to live and dwell in you, in your mind. You have authority and power to cast that thing out, to change just by wanting to, having a desire to do it. Only you can do it. Only you. Stop, a, stop settling. Stop allowing these men and these women to come into your life that do not deserve a place. Have a spirit of discernment. Pray for it. If you don't, pray for it. Ask God to show you who was in your life that he sent into your life and who was sent to your life by the enemy, the devil, who is not supposed to do anything but to destroy your life. Know the difference and wake up. Wake up. Get some help. Wake up. Enough is enough. This is not going into 2021. No. Stop being loyal to the wrong people. Women, sit down. Take a seat because you do too much. You're doing too much. Fall back. If you're doing more than what a man should be doing, you're in the wrong relationship, boo. And I, my grown kids have heard this several times. And I'm speaking to my ladies, okay? Because I'm one. And I've been there. Stop being a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. 
Your bed is stupid. Stop. Just stop. Stop. In 2021, love yourself. Stop uh. being afraid. Stop. Make a change for you. And I'm not speaking to no one person. I know we all have situations. I'm speaking because I'm a mother and a grandmother. And I have many children. Not just my three. I have many children that talk to me about different things. And I'm just speaking to all the women. Stop it. Love yourself enough that you want better for you. A man is only going to do the things that you allow him to do for one. Period. <clears throat> but you want that's, a better man, you're not going to get him until you stop with That's another thing, too. Like, what do you feel about you in a relationship with somebody? Um, you know, you, you got yourself together. You got a job. You got a car. Stuff like that. Um... But they lack the having a job and money part. What do you do? I know some people, they going to, you know, stay with that person. They going, you know, stay down with them, help them get a job, stuff like that. Or some people is just going, you know, act like that's their child, be a mother to them and you know, supply them with everything, money, and when they need food and stuff like that, instead of telling him to get up and go get a job, just like I do, you can do it too. Why, why, why do women think it's fair for them to go and raise a man? You can't raise a man. I don't care how much you love him. You cannot raise a man, period. You cannot change a man. You cannot do it. It won't happen, ever. You pray the hell out of people that you love and you love them enough to let them go. And then you love yourself even more to know you deserve better, period. Only God can take the hell out of a person. You can only pray and ask God to remove the hell and to free that person from the bondage. But you cannot save anybody. You ain't got the power. Mm -hmm. At all. So I really wish, and I'm speaking not only to my, see, it's so easy for us to go take it to the ladies because we are women. But I I have I have other I have sons too, you know. I, my I have one biological son who I love so much, but my sons too, men. No, no. Same with you. You get daughters when you 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 give birth to one, but your your woman is your woman. You she becomes your partner. Now, I don't agree. I know there's roles and responsibilities in every relationship. And I challenge you to find out if you are in a relationship, know your roles and responsibilities. Know them before you even get in a relationship. Okay? Write that down. That's a tip. Before you get in a relationship, know your roles and responsibilities. Know what it is that you desire in a man what his responsibility should be. And at the same time, know what your responsibility should be. Because fair is fair. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. I don't give a darn who it is doing it. Let's be real. Let's be fair. Women, we have responsibilities. You know, I talk all the time about my daughter. Hey, know how to cook. No, you don't know how to cook just so you can get a man. Because the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. No. Okay? Bull. I know we grew up on that, that, that saying, but no, no, because a man is not going to just fall in love with me because I know how to cook. He's going to fall in love with me, first of all, because God told him that I was supposed to be his wife. Hello, period, point blank, okay? But I want my daughters to know how to cook, which my oldest daughter is very well at it. And my youngest right here, she's pretty good too. She almost there. Mm. She got just a little way to go. But um, don't do that. <laughs> but let me let that was just a joke. But let me go back to say, for first of all, you learn how to cook for yourself because it's something you should do because you need to eat. That's a gift, okay? When a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing and obtain favor from God. Period. Okay, so women don't go out and try to find a man 
And when he finds you, that's an extra benefit that comes with you. The, your beauty, your smartness, your love, your heart, and you a bad woman who know how to cook to feed him a nice hot meal to get to his stomach, period, okay? But when you learn how to do those things, it's because you need to know how to do them to take care of yourself. Anything else after that is an extra benefit to add the beauty of a woman. I'm just saying, okay? Because I can. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. So I feel like, you know, that's the loyalty in a relationship when we're talking about a personal relationship, a relationship between a man and a woman. Be careful with being so loyal. That's what gets on my nerves. You're so loyal to the wrong people. And then when you get stuck in a rock and a hard place, I'm talking to you. You get stuck in a rock and a hard place. If it's your story and you're feeling kind of funny, don't log off just yet, okay? But get some help when I'm finished. If you're so loyal to the wrong people, you get stuck in a rock and a hard place and you can't go back to the people who you're so loyal to, that's a tip that you being loyal to the wrong people because they ain't even the ones that can help you in a situation because they just is stuck and broken at the moment and in a situation as you are. So why are you being loyal to the wrong person? They can't even be the ones to do not for you. I'm just saying. Check who you being loyal to and stop mm -hmm. turning your backs on the ones who you know, who got your back, who give you a word, who are a blessing to you, you know? And it, it kind of irritates me. And I'm going to speak to my mothers out here because I'm a mother and a grandmother and I'm proud, you know? When people like change, you know, like I get a lot of things, my people say things to me like, you know, well, um... You don't drink, you don't smoke. What you think about that? Do you have like friends who drink moms moms and dads that drink and smoke and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What you think about that? I do. You think it's cool? I mean, personal preference. See, we just own. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. I'm not going to judge it or anything. But <clears throat> that's what you want to do. That's what makes you happy. Go ahead. But everybody is different. Not everybody likes to drink. Not everybody likes to smoke. It's just a personal preference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. my thing. I was just <clears throat> and you said their parents do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what? And I get a lot of that. You know, like I just feel like I'm at a place in my life, and I hope you parents are in a place in your life where you can just be you, be who you are. Whatever it is, be you and be comfortable. Like, mm -hmm. I'm so comfortable with who I am. Like, my kids may say, you know, see, mine, you just want to, you know, be, you don't want to drink. You don't, you know, smoke. <laughs> I, I don't need to do those things. I've been there. I've done that. Respect me if that's not what I want to do. And don't compare me. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. So, if y'all have parents out there, don't feel like you have to, you know, be a certain way. I'm not like that, that other mom or that other, you know, cousin or auntie or whoever they are. You know, don't feel like you have to, as a parent, be, be loyal in a certain way to a certain extent. And we're talking about loyalty and relationships, right? So I just wanted to touch on that. I'm loyal to my family, to my husband, to my children, but... Right is right and wrong is wrong. And I don't side with them when they're wrong. I tell them how I feel. I tell them what I think as a mom. I don't try to be their friends. I don't need to sit and smoke and drink with them to have fun, to laugh. Because I do that on a natural high just being myself. I don't need to do those things. I'm not going to do those things. But I don't like to do those things. It's not who I am. Does it make me a bougie person? It's ridiculous, the things that people say. No. Mm -hmm. Respect and love me for who I am. And I'm not. I don't give a darn what you think. It's not who I am and it's not what I want to do. What, does it mean I sit up on a high horse? No. It really don't. Okay? Let's be clear. They can hear you. <laughs> no, I just want to put my face. <clears throat> it does mm -hmm. not. It does not. No. No. Because I choose to do things differently, okay? Just like if I choose, oh, hold on. We're on a camera. 
Let me put this on real quick. Uh, okay. We oh, about okay. 40. Uh, this is a point I'm trying to make. Hold uh -huh. on. I was about to say. Okay. Let me. So, you know what? I, somebody would say, oh, she's so bougie. Look, she just got to go always be fancy and try to look all classy and stuff. Let me tell you something. You cannot allow the opinions of other people affect your <laughs> mind, affect your life. Because I have learned I could care less about what people think about me. Because there wasn't nobody there when I was going through hell in my life that came and offered me not even a glass of water. So when you know you got people in your life who hear your sad story, but they don't do anything to offer you, not even a place to lay your head, I'm talking to you. do that why you do what? that that looks terrible <laughs> fix that <laughs> sorry y'all pause break i was trying to focus Ew, it. i don't like that she changing up stuff no i was trying no, to focus you messed it up because it was getting a little too bright it was nice can you take it back there y'all i'm sweating I'm trying this to show my bracelet anyway we have a relationship conversation no you guys my um she an Nieces and nephews and Did my sister. Really I'm sorry. My nieces <laughs> and nephews and my sister, they got me this for Christmas, a bracelet. It says, I, I on it. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. It says, I on it. And then it says, whenever you feel overwhelmed, remember whose aunt you are and strengthen your crown. And yes. straighten your crown. Yes. I thought yes. that was so beautiful. Yes. And I'm going to wear it every day. I love it. And I have one too. Yeah. That says, and remember who you are. And I don't have any of my braces or anything on, but I love it. And remember mm -hmm. whose grandmother you are and straighten your crown. And I love that. And I just want to say once again, Remember the loyalty to yourself. Do not change for anyone. Remember who you are. Do not change. Do not feel like you have to go and get a drink because somebody else is drinking. Don't feel like you got to get, you know, be smoking and stuff. Don't feel like you, you know what I'm saying? Be you. Be you. Be loyal to God first and to yourself. And if you change and you in a different place in your life, embrace it. And be glad for you. And don't worry about who's not with you. Because everybody, everybody, a whole lot of people, a whole lot of ones that you want to go, ain't going with you on your next journey to greatness. They're not allowed to go. They can't go. They weren't called to go. And that vision that God has given you and that mission and assignment, that's why God gave it to you. You. So everybody, you can't take with you. They just can't go. Everybody can't go to the top with you. They're not invited. So you're going to have to be willing to let it go. Let it go. Say bye. And I'm speaking about family members, the loyalty of your family. If people can't accept and embrace you for your change of being different, <clears throat> It's okay if the tox if the relationship, even with a family member, is toxic and not healthy. It's okay to love them from across the street. Hey, <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? All right now, bye bye. Love, mwah. God bless. It's really okay. No, I'm for real. Love them from across the street because people will take you down with them. And does it mean that you sit up on a high horse and you better than anybody? Absolutely not. But you made a decision. Does it mean that you put people down because of them being in a certain place than you? Absolutely not. You love them. You speak a word of change to them. And that's what I don't understand. People in their own family, they see people doing things that they know it ain't right. And they won't say nothing. They won't say nothing. Mm -hmm. Everything I'm saying, I've said to the ones that it was in my family or friends, and I've shared in love, in love, in love, okay? But this needs to stop because you're being a fraud 
You're not being real. You can share with someone. And then you it gets me when you, oh, you. <laughs> we love the Lord. We love the Lord. Shut up. You love the Lord, but you're not even out there being a witness. Even in your own family. You love the Lord, but you're not even spreading the good news. Telling that one person or two people that you know in your family or in your circle of friends, they need to get some help and they need to stop doing what they're doing. You can't even be honest. You're not even trying to save a soul, but you're not speaking to the other ones who actually are trying to be on the right path in life. It's not easy for any of us out here, okay? Everybody is struggling to stay on the straight and narrow path and not to fall deep underwater, and not to go to hell. Like Shirley Caesar say, why am I living hell and then die and go to hell? No. Mm. So we need to understand that we need to get it together. And in 2021, no, it's time to be real. Let's, it's time out for all this. Next. Mm. Since you yarning. Even though I know we just got up a little while ago, but gee, I think the last thing we said we was touching on was love. We talked about truth. We talked about loyalty. And the last thing was love. Oh, saying I love you. Yeah. What's your take on this in a relationship? Saying I love you. Saying I love you. What mm -hmm. you think about it? You asking me. I just talked a lot. What you? What's your take on if somebody comes in a relationship and just say "I love you"? I take that real, real personal because love is a strong word, mm. and just because you say you love somebody, it's like okay, is that something that you mean, or are you just saying it for real? When you love somebody, like it's so many different things behind it of why you love that person, like. Okay, you love that person, and that means you won't ever stab them in the back. You won't cheat on them. You won't lie to them. You won't know. You know. You won't do nothing to hurt that person. So it comes with a lot when you tell somebody you love them. Like I take that real, real personal, real deep because it's like, okay, you love me so much. You say you love me, then you won't do this, or you won't do that, or you won't say this, or you won't say that. So you telling me that. I'm taking that with me and running with it because I'm like, okay, I'm holding you accountable to that and all of that. Okay, you love me. Continue to show me why you love me and continue to show me that you actually do love me since you said it. Yeah. So that's my take on it. Mm. I don't take that lightly. I don't. Mm. Yeah. I don't at all. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think because, first of all, love... It's not just a word. And oh, it's action. It's action. Who wants everybody wants to feel love? You know, oh he loves me. Oh, she loves me. He loves me. That's real great. That's dandy. But yeah. when you become mature, like for real, you realize that for one, you ain't got time to play no games. Like, mm -hmm. okay, great. You love me? That's like you said, that's big. Cause love is not a feeling. Love is straight action. If you love me, I will feel and see and know that you love me. And not only that, everybody else around me will see that. Dang, that man love that woman. Mm -hmm. Dang, she love that man. <laughs> you know, for real, you love me? Hmm, okay. But let me say this real quick. That thing keep going down. What's going on? It's horrible. Let me work on that real quick, and then we're gonna wrap this up because we into like almost fifty minutes. But love, almost an hour. That's good. Really? <laughs> Excuse that's me. Awesome. And y'all make sure y'all like, share, and comment. Like, comment, like subscribe. Said, like I always say like in every real. video, and follow my Instagram. <laughs> stars that shit beauty. That's when stars. But let me say, I was gonna say, you know, and I feel like. You know the saying, opposites attract. How people would say, with a couple, opposites attract. 
No, not opposites. Yeah, opposites attract. That's what I meant to say. Mm. And and that's what they say. Opposites attract. Yeah, I'm about because to say not I feel all the time. like if you think about it this way, in a relationship, if you were somebody who is doing the same things that you're doing, no, mm -mm, that's not gonna work. Cause y'all mm. two jacked up, messed up people together. That ain't gonna work. For real. Mm. I'm sitting beside you. And if you sitting beside somebody right now and you in a relationship with them, they say they love you, you say you love them, and you feel in a good love. I ain't even going to speak on the action because you're probably not there just yet. But y'all both, you smoking and you drinking. You ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. You ain't getting nowhere in life. And if you're in the same situation that you was last year or five years ago, then you're definitely wasting your time, their time, and your entire life. It's flying by and you're wasting it. So mm -hmm. get yourself some truth, receive it, because I'm giving it to you. And it's okay. Love yourself. I love you. Get up 2021. Write your visions, dreams, and goals down. Proclaim them to be different. It's a choice. You do not have to continue on the same path. So love. If you're with somebody and you're trying to make it, they're doing opposite from you. It's a blessing. That's the relationship you want. But if you know that you're both drinking and smoking, you ain't working on your career, and you ain't doing nothing, how is that love? That's not love. So anything else, lust, <clears throat> infatuation, is a season of something. It's not real. It's toxic and it's gangrene because love real love but if you can't love yourself and know that you deserve better That's the problem. then you don't know what love really is from a man or a mm -hmm. woman and that's a fact so i'm gonna need you to write that down as a tip so you can reflect on it in five I minutes love from yourself now. first you have to and i'm not playing no games i don't need to <laughs> i've gone through all of it everything i'm speaking i've gone through it everything so i'm telling you love is action and if that man and that woman that you're with they're not showing you that love you with action if the thing that they're doing you know that they know you don't care for you don't like what they're doing and they continue to do it that's not love if they're disrespecting you rude to you calling you out your name that's not love if they're not trying to help you with the things that they know you need help with and get out of situation, that's not love. But let me say, let me touch on that for a hot minute or half a minute. Don't feel like you have to change anybody. And I said that before, and I just wanted to say it again. Don't feel like you have to change anybody. If they're in a situation, it is their responsibility to get help. Mm -hmm. Theirs. They and have you to need want to, it. They have to want it. And you have to let them go while they do it. And if it's meant to be, it will become again. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you're wasting your time and you're going to hurt your heart. And we're talking about healing. We're talking about restoration. We're being real. And not everybody can accept the real because it's, it's, a, it's a maturity thing. When you become sick and tired... Of the same situations, accepting You'll the change. same thing. Say it again. You'll change it. You will change. You will change because time waits for no one. Eventually, you're going to be saying, well, dang on. I'm 50. I'm 60. I'm 70. I still ain't got nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I'm still living in the same situation, in the same place. I ain't done nothing with my life, but waste it. No. Mm -hmm. So if you are with somebody, love is action, baby. It's action. And love is key. Love is not a feeling. It's not a thing. It's action. You will know. You can't just say it and be done. No. Don't, I don't want to know. Don't be just telling me you love me, but yet you jacked up and you doing this and you doing that. And <clears throat> No, we have nothing to show for it. Uh-uh. Love is action. Love is action. You help one another. You help change. You marry someone. I married my husband because I loved him. Love him. And I knew that he wanted the same things out of life that I want. 
And that's another thing. When you do marry someone, you other people out here, nobody is perfect. But stop blaming people for the person you married, for their mistakes. Like if my husband do something or have done something in his past, don't blame me. I'm the wife. If I've done something, don't blame my husband because he married me because of my past. That's stupid. I have nothing to do with it, and he would have nothing to do with it. Okay? Y'all need to grow the hell up. It's ridiculous. Respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> if you are allegedly <laughs> doing these things, committing well, these things. Respectfully. Or, okay? <laughs> like, you know who you are. You know who you are. And at the end of the day, you have to stand up and look yourself in the mirror. And if what you looking at don't jump back at you and make you feel afraid or scared or look weird or funny, then you know what? You got some serious soul searching to do because none of us are perfect. We all have done something and we mm -hmm. all need to just be real and real with ourselves. In 2021, we need to have a different mindset so we can be able to change. And it's okay to say, hey, I don't do them things no more. I don't do those things anymore. Okay? It don't make me bougie. It don't make me different. I don't do those things anymore because I choose not to. But I'm the same person who will give you a word and lay you out on the floor with my word. Believe that, okay? In love. God bless. But don't do that. Let's not do that. In 2021, let's be different so we can raise up a generation of blessed, peaceful children who, yes, will also go through things, but we can help. And we can give them a word of conviction and be able to speak a word into them that will not return void. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And let's show one another love and support and stop badgering and talking, backstabbing, but support one another in love and get your stuff together. Build on your credit. Build on your career. Stop making excuses. Stop calling people just when you want to feel like they can bless you with something. Stop being loyal to the wrong and gross, okay, who you know ain't even going to even be there for you, who are going to be there to, to pick up the pieces and, and be a blessing and show love with action. No, stop accepting the disrespect. Stop. <laughs> the familiar spirits rise up again to the occasion, but you need to rebuke and knock them down. Let's do better in 2021. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think we should That's how we're about to end out this video. Um, no more procrastination. Saying <laughs> our New Year's resolution since tomorrow is New Year's Eve. We want to um, both share and then we want in this video because it's about to be an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to go first. Uh, my New Year's resolution is... Um, I want to take Stars Nation Beauty to another level. I know God has blessed me with, you know, my business this year, but I want to take it up a notch a little bit more, you know, and continue to flourish with that. And I also want to, you know, like I was saying before, end up having more, add more stuff to Stars Nation Beauty that I want to, you know, have and sell and stuff like that. And I want to get out of my comfort zone a little bit more and do stuff more so out of the box, you know. And I also want to, what I've been working on for a long time, though, is stop procrastinating and holding off things. And so, you know, just go for it and stop saying, you know, I'm going to do this and do that and I just hold it off. So I want to start, you know, committing myself to things a little bit more. And also, I'm trying to work on my attitude and, you know, stop giving everything a reaction that don't really deserve a reaction to it. But learning to let things go and to know not everything deserves a reaction from me. So, what about you? That's awesome. That's good stuff. Straight honesty. I love it. My New Year's resolution would definitely be to um, grow my relationship with God 
because I just love the way it makes me feel. And I'm in the best place I've ever been because of my relationship with Christ. The best yes, place. Yeah. And I will never apologize for it. Mm -hmm. The peace uh, is, is just amazing. The love that I feel inside, you know, um, and just to work on me, that relationship, you know, my relationship with my husband, my children, my grandchildren, to spend as much time showing love, you know, family, speaking into family, um, retiring from my job, um, to be a 100% entrepreneur. Um, that's what I would like to work on. Thank you so much for listening. Yes. So appreciate it. Love you all. Yes. May God so, bless you. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope we was able to, you know, touch somebody with this video. You know, help somebody with this video. So, yes. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for more Next. videos. So, 2021. Say goodbye. Right. Let it rest. Once Let again, it die. Great. Happy New Year to everybody. Die. And <laughs> 2021. Ooh, excuse me. 2021. Happy New Year to everybody and see you guys in the next year. Woohoo! More to come.